What does G First LEP stand for? The G First LEP is a local enterprise partnership. There's 38 in the country. They're all generally in regions. Ours is is one of the only ones which is actually geographically located within the county in which it operates. But it's really there to drive economic prosperity and make sure all the things that are required, whether that be infrastructure or skills or any of the other vital things that are required to make a county successful. And do they get funding from the government? Yeah, we've been able to draw down about £120 million worth of government funding for specific projects, everything from science, technology, engineering and math centres at Hartbury and Sirencester through to business hubs like we're sat in today, the Growth Hub at Vantage Point, as well as one at Gloucester and Sirencester, and a variety of other projects as well. We want Gloucestershire first. It comes back to this kind of winning mentality of the 38 LEPs. G First has always come in the top six as the most business focused and the best to deliver on their projects and, and it's been a delight to be part of that. Yeah, I've been involved in GFIRST LEP for about eight years now. I was brought on as a non-exec director really to promote the Forest of Dean and to make sure that the Forest of Dean had, had a voice on this. I've been involved in such things as colleges and schools, uh, vital infrastructure, uh, making sure that not only do we have the right infrastructure, as I said, but also the right skills. The biggest project will probably be the Cyber Park, which is just starting to be constructed now and go alongside GCHQ. But I'm you know, mindful that we also need to create pathways for school leavers and even primary school children to know that there's a final destination for their education. So that's an important part. The only downside is, unfortunately, we can only do so many terms and uh, my term will come up at the end of July, but I'm happy to pass that on to Nicola Bird now, KW Bell, who has actually joined the board already. Uh, our first board meeting is uh, is next week. So um, uh, I'm passing the baton on to Nicola. So she'll be batting for the forest, I guess. Absolutely. We yeah. want to make sure that the forest is in everybody's mind. I think my board members will tell you that they're sick to death of knowing how fast our broadband is and how what a lovely place to live. We're sitting inside a rather lovely little pod with sound insulation and lighting and it's quite cosy. Tell us a bit more about this this growth hub in the Forest of Dean. So this growth hub is really there for everybody to use that's involved in business, okay? It doesn't matter whether you're a one-man band working part-time on your little hobby or you're a big multinational, multi-global company. What we anticipate is that people will be able to come here and be able to access the information and the help that they require in order to grow into much bigger companies. So this is a facility that should be used. I want to see this place packed. If you want to have a meeting, come here and use the facilities here. I'm pretty sure that they've set this up as a little radio room for you. I did make <laughs> representations actually, yes. <laughs> but you know, what a great facility. If but you're... it's also for podcasting, I think, and things like that. If you want, you know, make a podcast about your business. That's right. And there'll be the courses place. around yeah. how to do that. A lot of the skills that we need in business, we might not know. And so there'll be training courses here as well as support from the team here in order to be able to get over those challenges that you may have in your business. And I noticed from the introductory price list, you can actually have a fixed desk here. It, you know, you can actually base yourself here for, um, I think it's £100 a month. You, you can hot desk for £15 a day, and that is going to include free super fast Wi-Fi, free parking, coffee and tea, and free printing, and access to the advice that you mentioned. And the meeting rooms are £150 for a full day or £75 for a half day. That's from nine to five. And co-working space for up to six members from the same business, £75 for a month. That's really good value, isn't it? We're trying to make it as good value as possible. Some of those prices are subsidised through some of the funding we've been able to draw down. But we want this facility to be used. You know, it would it would make me really happy if I came in here every day and it was absolutely ram full of people that were busy about their business and using the facilities that are here. The other thing is that running your own business can be a very lonely experience. And so with the pandemic we've been through and working from home, this is also a social space. So this is a place where deals can be done and interaction should be natural. And there's a, a really lovely cafe, stroke bistro type place, isn't there, where people can meet and chat and have a coffee? Well, that's currently in construction. I'm hoping it's going to be uh, available for the opening on the 8th of October. But this will be uh, a place where you'll hopefully find me hanging out uh, and having my meetings as well, because I think it's a great place to be able to conduct business and to be able to grow businesses. Yes, yeah, so it's a little known secret place in the Forest of Dean, but hopefully it'll get more widely known. Thank you very much.